Good morning and welcome to Inside Tennessee. I'm your moderator, John Becker. The session of the new legislature starts next month. Hard to believe that. We have two lawmakers from East Tennessee with us. Democrat Gloria Johnson, just reelected. Republican Jason Zachary, also just reelected. Congratulations to both of you. Former teacher, technology worker, thank you for being with us. It's good to be with you. Good to be here. Also with us, Don Bosch, who is a Democrat. He's on our panel, a lawyer himself. Susan Richardson Williams runs her own PR firm, and she is a Republican. Nice good, to have you both. Good morning, John. Let's start with what TDOT is saying this week, because this is a major move by that agency to say we need $26 billion in new money to deal with what we've got to deal with. Um, that's more than half of the state's annual budget. Gloria, let's start with you. How big a deal is this and how does the state get done what TDOT says needs to get done? Well, hopefully you, you can get it done because that $26 uh, billion is only going to get us up to what we need right now. And that's a little daunting that it's not going to bring us forward. $8 billion of those dollars comes from, um, from federal monies Biden and the Democrats have, have brought to Tennessee. So it's nice that part of that money is accounted for. But as we, we've been speaking, we might have to be talking about toll roads, that sort of thing, which is going to be new in Tennessee. And it's just going to be interesting to see how it pans out. Uh, I think it's important that we, we make sure that it's not the, some of the larger cities that are taking the brunt of things. But it's going to be interesting. <laughs> Representative Zachary, you say there are a lot of question marks with this. You've spoken to the governor's office about it. Um, there's no debating that we have congestions on Tennessee roads. What do we do to fix it? Sure. Well, I think the first step is to identify what is needed, and that's exactly what TDOT has done. $26 billion. That's not something that we're going to immediately address and start on next year in terms of that $26 billion nugget. That's a look at what a 10-year projection could look like. And so it's, it could be toll roads. It could be um, it could be additional lanes. It can be uh, additional fees on electric cars. Um, here just in Knoxville, we have such congestion in West Knoxville in my district or we're between Lovell Road and Campbell Station. We've got money coming for those two interchanges. So the one thing I've learned in my five terms, it is a process. Mm -hmm. And so just like a couple of years ago when we took steps to expand road projects, the governor reprioritized those. He's made it very clear, especially over the last week, that this is going to be a priority for him. And so it'll be one of the priorities for the legislature. But ultimately, the governor and TDOT looks at those proposals, makes those proposals, then we as the legislator, legislature, we're the one that vote and pass the budget. So it'll go through the Transportation Committee, go through the Finance Committee, and we'll have a significant say what that looks like at the end. So Jason, just so I understand though, so if TDOT's asking for 26 million, a billion, excuse mm. me, that's, that, that's not parsed out in year one. That is structured over 10 years? Correct. Well, you look at it, my understanding, because we haven't seen the details of the plan, because this has all just begun to be rolled out by the governor's office. Office. And so you look at that $26 billion, no, that would not be in year one because, again, as, as John like mentioned, 50 that's, percent of yeah, our that's budget. half the budget. Right. So, right. So, it's, so if you need everything, what do you need? And it's $26 billion. That does not mean the final number will be $26 billion. And then that $26 billion, whatever that final end number ends up being, then that will be allocated or appropriated over a period of time to address the certain projects that work, work their way through the Transportation Committee, Finance Committee, then to the, and so the, the, and the problem being. If that's a 10-year plan, it, 26 billion is what we need right now to fix the problems that we have. Well, we're not going to get 26 take, billion right now. Right, but if it's going to take 10 years, the, the problems are going to be bigger than that. Well, but if I hear Jason right, Gloria, mm -hmm. over 10 years, isn't there some room for discussion at least about building in some new infrastructure and some new things? And I don't think it's a done deal yet. It's literally. We need this, but how it gets apportioned out is still up for grabs, so to speak. Is right, right? And, and we will be having that discussion in the committees and the legislature, yeah. absolutely. Um, and, and I think that we need to think outside of the box and think about the future and what's down the road. And I think that Tennessee can come up with ideas that are going to accommodate not just where we are now, but, but the future. And I think that we really should be thinking in um, broader terms. Well, discussion about toll roads is pretty much akin to discussions about the income tax, mm -hmm, right? Sure. It always has been. There's been no appetite. I, I myself. Dead on arrival. Yeah. I, I think <laughs> it might it not is. be this Although time. Although this yeah. time, now, if they, this may be one of the solutions. I, 
go to South Carolina a good bit. There are quite a few toll roads over there, mm -hmm. and they actually work. And what happened in Hilton Head, they, they said, we're going to build it, it's going to cost X, and when it's paid for it, we're taking it out. Oh my gosh, they took it out, <laughs> which was shocking to me. I'd never seen that done. But there Was it, it an actual toll, ro toll, ro toll, toll road, road, or was it the lane that they've been talking no, about? Road. Okay, like they've done in Florida. Yeah, in, in, in fairness, Florida. Tennessee's talking about lanes is all lanes, I've heard. Right. right, and the yeah. governor's talked about a public-private partnership in that particular lane, because most people, when they hear toll, they think Florida. Everybody has right. to pay as they go through. This would be your ability to basically jump in the fast lane. You pay a premium to be able to do that, and it's your choice if you choose to do that. But again, it's important for everybody to remember as we talk about all this, the governor has just now begun to talk about this. This all has to go through the legislature and pass the legislature, which again is a January to April and May process. Uh, you say pay as you go. That's an important point for our viewers who don't understand this. Uh, Tennessee is unique in the sense that it is a pay as you go state. Right. We're not in debt on road projects. One thing we have seen in the past, Representative Zachary, is uh, the fact that uh, Governor Haslam pushed for a tax increase to build things like the expansion of Alcoa Highway. Is there any appetite for that in the legislature? No, no. I'll definitively say no. So there you go. Dead on arrival yes. there. We're going to hit on other topics with these two lawmakers in Knoxville and Knox County when we come back right here on Inside Tennessee.